Okay boys and girls, welcome to my latest video. As you can see I'm at a big ass temple. So I'm on my way to work, Sunday morning. Totally don't want to be going to work. But anyway, there's this huge temple on the way to work that I've never been to before so I thought I'd just stop and have a look. I'm running late as usual so I can't go inside today but I will come back and have a proper look. As you can see, it's pretty freaking massive. Wow, very cool. Very cool. Nagoya District Office, main audience hall, main entrance and main hall. Wow. Anyway, we'll have to come back and check this out. I'm sure Mr. Gorilla Biker would like to go and have a look around, as he's always pestering me to do like a castle video. So, Let's go. Oh, that lady was saying a little, doing a bow there, saying a prayer I guess. I probably should have done the same but I'm Catholic so it doesn't count. Probably some rule about walking on this too. Too many rules in this country. Anyway so, the topic of today's video is my next bike and what I need is, I need your help. So, oh dear, so anyway there's a few, well there's four bikes that I've got in mind and uh, as I'm really indecisive, no I'm not, yes I am, no, no, no I'm not really, oh wow well, yes I am, yeah, as I'm totally indecisive I cannot figure out which bike to get. Now I love all of the bikes I'm about to mention but I just don't know which one is the one to go for. So we have number one, a used 790 Duke. Number two, a used KTM 990 SMT, which is like the Supermoto, the sort of the original big boy Supermoto 990cc V twin. But the SMT version, the T version, is more like the Touring version. So that one's got like a, a screen fitted and hand guards fitted and like the, the exhaust covers on the back have got like luggage um, racks on them and stuff. So it's the more sensible one, but it's still like 110 or whatever horsepower, so it's still a monster. So then again, next used Tuono V4 APRC. That soundtrack is just amazing. The V4 engine sounds so freaking good. But again, that one is a bit of a mental bike, right? 160 horsepower or something. Do I need that much power? Probably not. So, oh, it's my turn. So that's, um, that's probably number, I don't know where that is on my list. That's probably number three on my list of like, you know, which one I want. And then last but not least is a brand new Yamaha MT-09. Stop doing those false neutrals, you bitch. So yeah, that, that's the most sensible option, I think. Sensible, not as in, oh, it's a nice, safe, easy to ride beginner bike. Not like that kind of sensible. Just sensible in the fact that I live in Japan and it's a Japanese bike. It's brand new, so it's got two or three years warranty and like free servicing and free, six free oil changes and stuff. So obviously that's the most sensible money and reliability wise. But those European bikes have just got more character. Right? I mean, I love the sound actually of the MT-09. The triple engine is so cool. Obviously I'd prefer to buy a Triumph but they're too expensive. But yeah, that engine's awesome too. I think basically I'm after noise. Like 100 horsepower is totally fine. I don't feel like I need more than 100 horsepower. This CBR's maybe got 110. But it's like no torque, so I don't really like it. But a nice torquey 100 horsepower engine would be totally fine. So it's not like I'm after R1 performance or anything like that. But I don't know, there's just something like the MT-09, I, I even like the looks of it. it and it's obviously quite obviously the most sensible choice for me being as I live about 
80, no, maybe less, maybe 50 miles away from where they're actually freaking made from the Yamaha factory. So obviously that's the most sensible option. But you know, when you buy a bike, you don't choose with your head most of the time, do you? You choose with your heart. So my heart says, yeah, baby, Tuono V4 APRC. You can get 160 horsepower. You can ride it around like a, a maniac doing wheelies in fifth gear, and it'll sound exactly like a MotoGP bike, which obviously would be fucking amazing. And the price is actually the same. I used uh, 2015 model Tuono V4 APRC. Is almost exactly within like a couple hundred dollars difference of a brand new MT09. So finally, the money-wise, it doesn't make any difference. And the mileage on the one that I'm looking at has only got 4,000 kilometers on. No, actually less. One of them had less than 1,000 kilometers on it. So, you know, it's barely even run in. But then I'm worried, like, eh, in the future, what happens if I've got some problems? Is there a dealer network in Japan? I don't think there is. Will I be able to get parts? Do I have to order everything from fucking Italy? And, like, you know, so I'm worried about that. But the KTM's on the other hand there's a pretty decent KTM network in Japan KTM and Lotus cars are sort of as one so you can get um, parts pretty easily Mike seems to be having trouble getting his gear today so yeah I'm not worried about KTM at all reliability what what the fuck's happened to my gears oh, shit can't find neutral oh. oh boy I can't find neutral Let's hold the clutch with this hand. What's fucking, what's fucking happened? Ah, uh, fuck's sake. It's rubbing on the fucking thermostat. How's that happened? Must have rolled over centre or something. Shit. Oh, the rest of the journey's going to suck so I can only get second gear. Anyway, so the KTM, yeah, sensible choice. No, not sensible choice. S next sensible choice. Obviously, the Yamaha is number one sensible. But yeah, KTM has got a decent dealer network here. And I've owned two KTMs before, so I know that I can get parts and servicing stuff is no big deal. And to be honest, I wouldn't mind doing most of the maintenance stuff myself on a KTM. Like, it's a pain in the ass doing oil changes stuff, but... I prefer, so in some ways I like to do it myself to know that it's been done properly. <laughs> but the KTM, the only used ones I could find have got like 20,000 Ks on the clock. Which is the same as this bike, this bike's got 23,000 and it's fine, so... Be okay I guess, and I've read on the internet, you know, like, that LCA engine, the same as in the, the adventure bikes and stuff, like... People are getting 80,000 miles out of them. So I don't think there's any problems there. It's just the general build quality of KTM is a, a bit off, like they're built sturdily and everything but the bolts get rusty pretty quickly and stuff like that and the plastic tanks kind of get scratched up and then it's hard to fix them because it's plastic and you can't paint it and stuff like that. So there are some negatives with the KTM 990 but with the actual 790 Duke, yeah you know I think it would be pretty um, pretty damn reliable and a good obviously a good bike I did a test ride and the freaking thought it was awesome but then again a used one is the same price as a brand new MT-09 so the cheapest one definitely is the 990 I can probably get uh, I can't get an SMT which is the one I want but just a, a 990 Supermoto there's one locally for uh, 450,000 yen which is probably the same amount of money I'll get when I sell this so I could just go and buy that straight away but the other bikes I would have to put the four my whatever I get for this down as a deposit and then do the rest on the loan so the money the money actually I'm not that concerned about because I'll just do like a three-year loan and you know whatever bike I get it'll probably end up costing the same monthly anyway but uh yeah I need you guys to give me some comments for example what would you actually prefer to watch Say you're watching my channel, would you rather me be hooning about on a 790 Duke or a 990 SMT, a Toronto V4 or an MT-09? So yeah, give me your comments and I'm about to arrive in work, don't want to go. Oh, I'm in second gear. So anyway guys, I'm going to have to fix my shifter when I get to work. How fun. 
Oh, and look, another red light. Oh, riding in Japan, so much fun. Red lights. Hey guys, so leave me some comments on what you think I should buy. Sorry, it was just a quick, boring video today riding around the town, but <sighs> gotta go to work today. Alright, guys, see you in the next video. Ciao!